So for the selected task for the, um, the Boxer engine, I'm just going to show you how to add limits and fits whilst you're modelling. So I'm just going to start a new part here and I'm doing the crankshaft, so I've got the drawing open. So I'm going to put in the, um, the shaft diameter here which is 6mm, but you can see that it's actually a G6. So when you're in your dimension you have this little arrow here. If you click on there you can go in here, you can you can measure so you can go and get um, measurements from somewhere else to change this dimension or you can go to tolerance. And in tolerance you've got your types. So if you go into your limits and fits um, and we'll go to linear. In here you can see you can change the limit or the fit so you can change the hole size here but of course this is a shaft not a hole. So if you go in here and type G6 you can see that you can add this tolerance in and as you can see from the drawing it's a 6mm G6. I press OK now and press the tick button, you'll see it's changed to G6. So now this part has the G6 added to it. So you can then reference that in the drawings later on. You can also show the upper and lower limits and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm just going to carry on and finish modelling this one here. So I'm going to add in the length of the shaft and I'm going to make sure it's mid-plane. And then I'm going to add the two cutaways. So I'm going to do a sketch first of all on the YZ plane. If you press F7 it slices the graphics. I'm just going to fit to view. And again, project geometry, which is very useful for us. So I'm going to just use the rectangle and just draw these two shapes in. And there's another one just here. And I'm going to then use the constraints to make the depths the same for both of them. And we note this in here is 2.6. And we've got the lengths of these also. And I'm going to completely constrain my sketch, of course. Cut for all in, oops, in both directions. Very important you select that, <laughs> otherwise, it, it's not right. So, we've got that piece now. Again, project geometry, so exactly the same principle. And just draw the rectangle at the bottom. And again, make sure when you do your extruded cut, it goes both ways. And, and that's that part finished once I've added the material, so we know it's steel. I'm just going to add the title into there. And save that one in the appropriate place. So, boxer engine. And that is a how to add uh, limits and fits whilst modelling.